Hi everybody, welcome back to our math room. We will be having business mathematics in this video, and that is focusing on the basic concepts of percent. In business mathematics, Aside from recalling the basic concepts of fractions and decimals, it is indeed necessary to recall and understand percent. So in this video, we will be having the basic concepts of percent. Our learning objectives are the following. First, you should be able to identify and define base, rate, and percentage. Solve for the value of the base, rate, and percentage and apply percent in finding the rate of increase or decrease. To attain the learning objectives, we need to answer this essential question. How to solve for the base, rate, percentage, and the rate of increase or decrease? Where do you usually see or use percent? For a student like you, you normally hear your teacher would say, your score in a math quiz is 95% which means you got 95% correct answers. This symbol is also widely used in shopping malls, especially when they are on sale. You would see 50% off or 75% price reduction on bulletin boards. It shows that percent has a lot of applications in the real world. Now, let us check what you know about percent. Answer the following questions. You may pause the video so you could try the following items. Let's check your answers. 10 is 20% of what? That is 50. Second, 25% 25 of 140 is what? It is 35. Number three, what percent of 120 is 36? That is 30%. These items are typical questions that involve percent. If you are not able to answer these items, don't worry because we'll be having in this video the basic concepts of percent. First, let us define percent. It indicates the number of parts taken from a hundred. The Latin word is percentum, meaning by 100. To perform computation involving percent, we convert the percent to decimal. In this example, we have 4.25%. So we'll just simply remove the percent symbol and move the decimal point two places to the left. So in this case, this will become 0 0.0425. Or 425 ten thousands. When we are talking about computations involving percent, we usually use the formula for percentage, base, and rate. So we have percentage is equal to the rate times the base. P refers to the percentage of which is the portion or part of the whole indicated by the percent. R refers to rate, usually written in percent, decimal, or fraction form. And B refers to base, of which is the size of the whole. To solve for the other two quantities, we just simply manipulate and write the formula into the following forms. So to find the rate, we have percentage over the base, and to solve for the base, we have percentage over the rate. Let us now have some examples. The first is finding the percentage. 25% of 160 is what? In this problem, we are looking for the value of the percentage. So in this problem, we have the value of the R, which is 25%, and in decimal, that is 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths. We also have the value of the B, or the base, which is 160. Following the formula, 
we have P is equal to the rate times the base. We'll just simply do substitution. So we have 0 0.25 times 160. Multiplying these two numbers, we will have the value of P, which is 40. This means that the 25% of 160 is 40. Next example, we have finding the base. 60 is 40% of how much? Since we are looking for the base, we have the value of the rate, which is 40% or 0 0.40. We also have the value of the P or the percentage, which is 60. And in our discussion a while ago, to find the value of the base, we have percentage over the rate. Now, let us do substitution. So we have the B is equal to the 60 over the rate, which is 0 0.40. Dividing these two values, we will be able to have the value of the base, which is 150. Which means 60 is 40% of 150. Let us have our third example, finding the rate. 55 is how many percent of 440? Since we're looking for the rate, we have the value of the P, which is 55, and the value of the B, which is 440. Since we're looking for the value of the rate, the formula to be used is R is equal to the percentage over the base. Let's do substitution. So we have R is equal to 55 over 440. So R is equal to 0 0.125 or in percent that is 12.5%. Moving the decimal point two places to the right. Aside from finding the percentage, rate, and base, percent is also used in finding the rate of increase or decrease. Percent is also used to denote increase or decrease in the values of certain quantities. So to find the rate of increase or decrease, we have to follow the formula Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 all over Q sub 1, where Q sub 1 is the original quantity while Q sub 2 is the new quantity. Let us now have an example. An online seller has a current sales of 13,500 worth of makeup products. Last month, the amount of sales was only 9,000. Find the rate of increase or decrease. In this problem, the 13,500 is our new quantity or the Q sub 2. And the 9,000 is our Q sub 1. Following the formula in finding the rate, we have Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 all over Q sub 1. Substituting the given values, we have 13,500 minus 9,000 over 9,000. Simplifying the numerator, we have 4,500 divided by 9,000. And this gives us the value of 0 0.50. And converting to percent, it is equivalent to 50%. Since the value that we have obtained is positive, it means to say that this rate is a rate of increase. But if you will be able to get a value that is negative, then that means that the rate is a rate of decrease. So here, 
from 9,000 worth of sales of makeup products, there is an increase of 50% going to the 13,500. This is now the time that you have to apply what you have learned from our discussion. You may pause the video so you can answer the following items. Item number 1, 120 is 24% of how many? That is 500. 40 is how many percent of 75? That is 53.33%. And 80% 80 of 450 is what? That is 360. Were you able to get all of this correctly? If yes, great job. Let's move to the next. A polo shirt that originally sells for 640 pesos now sells for 560 pesos. Find the rate of increase or decrease. Again, you may pause the video so you can answer this problem. Let us check your answer. For this problem, the answer is 12.5%, which is a rate of decrease. These are the key takeaways for this lesson. Percent indicates the number of parts taken from 100. And in solving for the percentage, rate, and base, use the formula P is equal to R times B. Percent is also used to denote increase or decrease in the values of certain quantities. And the formula to be used is Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 all over Q sub 1. So here's the end of our discussion on percent. I hope you have learned a lot in this video. Thanks for watching. So if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone! See you in our next video.